should you prepare short notes or not this is the most asked questions from gate aspirants that i get that i hear right so first of all short notes is a very personalized thing you cannot just uh, like take a photocopy of your friend short notes and use it as your own short notes short notes is made after you have studied the whole chapter and from your full notes you write few things on your short notes so in this video we will discuss should you make short notes or not what things should you include in short notes when should you start making your short notes and how to utilize your short notes these four things we will discuss first thing is should you make short notes or not so you can try answer to that is you can try so let's say you have studied a network theory so you can try and make a short notes of transient chapter and see how it works if it works good for you if it's helpful if it's helping you then you can continue for other subjects if it's not helping you then you can drop it so at least give it a try give everything a try in your life you should always try some things try everything and if it works great if it does not work just drop it so point 1 now when should you start writing short notes so you should start writing short notes when you have finished watching all the lectures of that particular subject or let's say chapter at least a subject half a chapter half a subject or 80% of the subject right then you can write start writing short notes because if you don't have a holistic idea of the whole subject right you will not be able to write short notes so let's say you have finished like network theory till transient first three chapters basis of network network theorems and transient so after finishing transient you can start writing the short notes of basics of networks okay and always leave out few spaces because you might give like two three pages for chapter 1 of short notes maybe it may take more because you don't know what to add and what not to add which i will discuss so you have finished till let's say chapter 3 net transient analysis and you start writing your short notes before that you start solving questions so you don't directly jump in and write the short notes you start solving a few questions of the first few chapters of i am talking about gate pvqs you can start with gate pvqs so as you start writing gate pvqs few few ideas we will get so now i will discuss what you should put in the short notes so point 1 what you should put is the formulas now not just the formulas you write the formulas with a box and also write bit about the derivation or the intuition behind the formula so whenever we teach something right whenever we did, uh, teach a formula or something we always try to give a perspective always try to give a intuitive perspective perspective of that formula how that formula came that helps you in remembering that formula so you can write few on your own words that here i have blv or this is like uh, exponential equation how do i remember this you can write on your own words these things you can put right you can put graphs you can put circuits not everything just bit rough circuits and formula so that next time when you will watch that uh, like uh, circuit and formula right automatically you know the steps what how do i derive get to this value all these things you know so just it's just a snapshot of your full notes your short notes is just a snapshot of your full notes okay so th that you can put next thing is as you are attempting the questions now you will get an perspective an idea which concepts are asked repetitively if few concepts are getting us repetitively th those concepts concepts you can put in your short notes from your full notes okay so those things you can put because these are those are getting us repetitively and you should not forget those things you should always remember so i always had this like fear that i will forget right so to remove that fear i always used to write which are which concepts are getting us repetitively in the short notes i used to copy those from the full notes and in the short notes i used to write but not exactly copy i used to modify it so that in in a short manner how can i get a snapshot of the whole uh, that topic okay those things you can write so it's not like your short notes it's not like once you have finished writing the short notes it is done no it is ever evolving it will you will always keep on modifying it you will always keep on adding things in your short notes because as you will keep on solving more questions as you will keep on learning new things you will go into a telegram group someone will send a question you learn something new from that question so that concept again you have to put in the short notes so it's not like if i have started writing my short notes in first of april and i finished in 15th of april it's done short notes is a evolving thing so it will keep on evolving as you move along your gate preparation okay so that is about the short notes it is not like a constant thing okay second thing how to use the short notes so the best way and why we you uh, write like like why we make the short notes is to revise we use our short notes to revise because our full notes are very very huge large now we every time we don't want to revise the whole thing right we just want to get a snapshot and we want to revise 
So this varies from person to person, how everyone takes it. So I used to revise from short notes. You can directly revise from full notes as well. That is totally fine. That is totally up to you. Okay. So uh, once you come back in, into the revision phase, so one video I have already made, how you can revise with Git Pivacus. And this is the next video. That is how you can revise with short notes. So with short notes, uh, you have already snapshot of the whole chapter, right? So you can quickly go through. It is three pages, right? You can quickly see the short notes and don't just directly see the short notes and just uh, mug up, right? Don't mug it up. What do you do? You see a formula, try to write the formula by yourself. Try to remember what are the derivation steps or what is the intuition behind that? If there is an RC circuit, try to modify the RC circuit. What will happen? So all those things you can do to revise and again, understand conceptually and give your brain a bit of pressure so that you're not forgetting anything. Okay. Try to give your brain a bit of pressure. Don't just muck things up. Okay. Okay. This is uh, tau equals to RC, tau equals to R effective C effective. Don't just muck things up. Give your brain a bit of time to think. Give your bra brain a bit of work. Give it a time, bit of time to think so that uh, your brain is working and you're solving questions. So this is how you can utilize short notes. Short notes can be utilized for revising a subject. Okay. So we discussed about the four points. I will quickly summarize. Who should make short notes? It depends. It depends. Try it out. If it works, great. Short notes is mainly made for revision. Okay. Second point. Uh, when should you make the short notes? After you completed a bit portion of the subject and you are starting with the question practice. At that point of time, you should start making your short notes. Your short notes is an ever evolving thing. It will keep on modifying. What things should you include? Formulas. Bit about intuition of the of the formulas. And of course, the key concepts that has been repetitively asked. Those things you can include in your short notes in your own language, in your own language, so that you can understand later on when you will come back to revision. Short notes is mainly used for revision. So you will use short notes for revision. So that was it about this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If any more guidance you want, you guys want, you can obviously put in the comments below which topics you want to guide. Uh, you, we, you want us to guide you. So we can obviously make a video on that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning.